everyone, what is happening? Travis Gravois here, one of your hosts back on Dad Talks. Hope you got jacked up from the last video I made. I um, hope you really enjoyed it. We want to bring some energy to you in these videos. And I uh, hope you really like Hassan's videos as well. If you haven't checked them out lately, checked out, check out the two. Um, one is called Nine Things That You Wish You Knew Now or Back Then That You Know Now. And the other is All About Getting Uncomfortable. That's a great one. But just don't take any dance tips from him on that one. But uh, glad you're with us today. Today we're talking about being positive. That's a, a motto on this channel, on all these videos. So we just want to try and help you on how to be more positive. So if life is summed up in one word, it's probably got to be the word attitude. Everything is about attitude in life. It's the way you present yourself, carry yourself, and it rubs off on everybody. The energy that you bring and you present every day is infectious among other people. So I'm going to come to you and give you a couple of tips on how to be more positive in your life. Look, I know everyone battles with things in their life, problems, challenges. Uh, you know, a lot of people, they really do suffer from depression and anxiety. So maybe some of these tips can help you guys as well on just being more positive and feeling better about yourself throughout your life. Number one, the first thing we're going to talk about is practice being thankful. Use the words thank you more, even to your children. When your children do something for you that's positive or give you something, say, oh, thank you, baby. Thank you, buddy. Um, I really appreciate you doing that for me. When people just pass and, and do things for you throughout the day, just use the word thank you. It's going to make them feel better, and that energy will then rub back on you to make you feel more positive and look more positive. Number two, we talked about this before in another video, and it's smile more. When you smile when you're talking, even if you talk on the phone a lot for work throughout the day, smile as you talk. It changes the way that, you, that the inflection of your voice. It changes it and makes it sound more positive. And when people see you and you're smiling, they tend to smile more as well. Number three, this is one you may not think about, but uh, this really does work, and it's work on your posture. Work on the way you walk, the way you present yourself, the way you sit in a chair. If you hold yourself with better posture, it makes you feel better about yourself. So even while you're in the car, driving around town, sit with better posture, and you'll feel better as you do that every day. When you're walking around at work or in your office, stand up with a little better posture. You know, not snooty or anything, but just stand more straight up and maybe chin up a little bit more, and it's gonna make you feel better about yourself. Now the next one, number four, is something that actually costs a little bit of money, but not too much, and you've heard of this before. It's called paying it forward. And the most common example that we can give or talk about is Starbucks, the line at Starbucks. And you can actually do this at, at any you know fast food chain or, or drive through that you go through. Um, but if you could afford to do it one time, just for a few bucks, pay for the person's drink or order behind you. They will never know, they'll probably never find you, but it's gonna make you feel better about what you did that day. And number five, this is probably the most important one that I can talk about that I'm gonna leave you with. This is the last one. Look, I know a lot of people who battle with a lot of issues in their life. They, uh, some people take uh, medication for anxiety and depression. Some people go to counseling. But if none of those things tend to help you, maybe, maybe this one could help you. Now, it's going to take a little bit of commitment and energy. But what you need to do is you need to focus more on the things that are good in your life and less on the things that are bad or negative in your life. And I know that sounds so easy to do, but think about it this way. You know, most things in your life are probably good. Let's say 90% of it. Or even if it's only 10%, it really doesn't matter. What you need to do is focus so much energy on the positive things in your life that you will end up forgetting about the bad. So if your kids bring you joy and laughter and they help you forget about your problems, devote three or four times as much uh, time throughout the week or evenings, whatever it may be, to spend time with them. And as you do that, you will forget about the negative. It's about staying busy, but staying busy with positive things. So 
if you can stay busy every day and every evening throughout the week and it helps you forget about um, you know the one bad thing that happened to you for the past week or in the past week then it's gonna bring you a little more joy and help you feel better about yourself guys as always in closing we really do appreciate y'all watching these videos and following us along and being a part of this again thank you so much to all the people who have liked our page and subscribed to us on YouTube it's uh it's it's really been a great thing over the past week or so of all the comments we've gotten and messages and uh, and extra followers so please continue to follow us we really do appreciate it as always in closing it on dad talks it's always about passion and positivity and purpose we'll come back at you soon thanks